Hi guys! In this video we're chatting about the history of contraception. So I'll be joined by my mum's neighbour, Donald Greenacres. So Donald, you're an expert on sex. No, I'm a historian, but I know enough for whatever this is. Well, you haven't got any kids that I know of, so you're either doing something right or very, very wrong. What do people use to not get preggers before the pill? Oh, many different methods were employed. The withdrawal method is mentioned in the Book of Genesis and in early Islamic cultures. Really? Coming on someone's tits is in the Bible? Not in those terms, no. But birth control has been a concern for most cultures. All sorts of plants and substances were believed to stop pregnancy, and most were expected to be used by the women. Bloody history. Even the enlightened Greeks had some fanciful notions. A treatise on gynaecology was written by a Greek physician called Seranus. So Anus. Hmm, it's an odd name for an expert on bannies. He wrote four volumes on gynaecology, a sort of war and peace for vaginas, and got some things very wrong. Seranus, my period is until next week, so can we please have sex now? Yes, all right. You're at your least fertile roundabout now. Yes! I don't want a baby in this house interrupting my cold, hard science. I don't want a baby with you either. In fact, you knowing about this stuff is the only reason I agreed to go out with you. As I promised, you shall never fall pregnant using my methods. Awesome. Now, take out the suppository I gave you. Oh, oh, finally. I felt like a mentalist having tree bark up the cooch. Now put some wool right up there. Oh, seriously? And smear your front bottom with this mixture of olive oil and lead. Lead? You're making us up. Do you want to have sex or not? Yes, I have done for the last three weeks. I'm wetter than a sailor's sandal. Then use the bloody wool. Oh, fine, but that's it. My love pocket's not a builder's skip. Anything else? Massive weirdo. Yes. To further prevent pregnancy, you must hold your breath as I climax. Well, how will I know when that's going to happen? You could maybe start now. Well, I'll suffocate after the first two minutes. That will not be a problem. <sighs> Drink the water. How many more things do I have to do? Drink it. We haven't much time. Oh, it's freezing. It's supposed to be freezing. Now squat and sneeze. Squat and sneeze. What are the... Oh, Saran, will you just... Obey my science. You total twat. I... Oh. To die, fuck the question. Donald, did cavemen invent the condom? That's a tricky one. Some researchers believe that a cave painting found in France depicts a man using the world's first condom over 15,000 years ago. Personally, I don't see it. Just looks like he's high-jumping a flamingo with a lob on. Similar um, items do appear in Greek myths going back to 3000 BC, when a curse filled King Minos' semen with serpents and scorpions. Ugh, I wouldn't want to get any of that in my hair. He used a goat's bladder as a makeshift condom. You know weird things. I bet you can't name a single Adele song. The first rubber condoms were developed in the Victorian era, but weren't that popular, as you had to be fitted for one. Good day. I wish to... Oh, my. Um, uh, my apologies, young miss. I was quite expecting... Um... If you're here to order a condom, we need your measurements and bank details. Oh, I... Uh... Is there not a man I could talk to? No. How long is it? Uh, why, young miss, how may one measure satisfaction? What length bliss? Who dares estimate the span of hunger? What limit may be exerted upon the full range of sexual ecstasy? Yeah, I need a measurement for the form. Well, if the truth will be wrenched from my lips against due modesty and decorum, I must concede with full candour. If you could. I be long enough as to not douse the flame of passion upon first viewing, yet not so long that the lady in question may doubt that she is betwixt sheets with the very embodiment of gentlemanly conduct. How about I put down small for now, and if that doesn't fit, you can bring it back. Yes, that should be fine. OK, everyone, it's time for our Red Hot Sex Quiz. So please welcome this week's guest, my dog, Onions. Really? No one else was available. Onions, your questions on contraception start now. During the Middle Ages, what were women advised to tie around their thighs to prevent pregnancy? A, a weasel's testicles, B, a leather decoy vagina, or C, a picture of a ghost? Oh, I'm sorry, it's A, a weasel's testicles. <laughs> Infamous Italian sex pot Casanova used to ask his lady friends to put what up themselves? A, teeth, 
B. Lemons or C. A baked potato? No, it's B. Half a lemon. The peel acted as a cap and the citric acid as a rudimentary spermicide. <laughs> In the 1960s, what did some Americans use as cheap spermicide? A. Gasoline, B. Coca-Cola, or C. The Tears of Native Americans? Ah. Well done, onions! The answer is B. Coca-Cola was used as a cheap spermicide for douche after sex. Women would shake a bottle, put it up themselves, and then take their thumb off the top and let their fizz do the rest. Onions, you scored one point, you good boy! Good boy, onions! Oh, good boy, onions! Good boy! What is the point of any of this? Man?